No one chooses homelessness. It happens. The one thing I couldn't get when I was living under the bridge was human dignity in a form of a shower. I'd wake up hopeful of going to find a job and starting a new journey. But how can you feel hopeful when your hair's a mess, you have dirt under your fingernails, your clothes are dirty and you smell? I, I just give up and be hopeless because I knew so, no one would even give me a, a look or a chance because they were too busy judging me from the outside. Who I am today is who I always was. I was just in a lot of pain back then. Sharing love restores human dignity by providing radical hospitality. We start on the outside by providing showers, new clothing, hygiene supplies, meals, and laundry services. Then, as we build a relationship with them, we connect them and bridge them to other resources so they can become self-sufficient again. So once I found my way out of homelessness, I still wanted to stay involved. They were still my friends on the street, and even if I didn't know them, they were me, and I was them at a different time in a different space. So I started getting friends to come together, and we were making snack bags and hygiene kits, and we were going out and handing them out. In 2016, Showering Love was incorporated. We started off with one bus, getting the community involved, plumbers, electricians, construction workers, and they all came in to give of their time and their professionalism. And Sharing Love unveiled August 31st of 2017. We've grown so much with the community support. We now have two buses that are fully self-contained. We don't need to hook up to anything. We house our own water, septic, electric, and all we need to do is be invited. We pull up, we open up, and we welcome the guests to our services. Our schedules never change. We want to be consistent with our weekly schedules so the guests know where to come on whichever day. Some days we're in Broward, some days we're in Pompano, some days we're in West Palm, and some days we're in Miami. It is so important that we work together with mental health agencies, healthcare providers, governmental agencies, and other nonprofits who are serving the same community as we do. We do this by coming together on a daily and weekly basis. So we're providing really a one-stop shop. It's a health fair. We wanna be there, each of us collaborate, so we can really help them become self-sufficient and whole again. From learning from my own experience, I want to educate the community, engage them, give them the facts around homelessness so we can stop the stigma around homelessness. Showing love has many success stories, but there's one that really is a special story. We used to provide services at a homeless encampment. There was about 75 to 100 people living there. We come up every week to provide showers and resources. And I met this young lady named Gina. Gina just reminded me of me. As she started to come more often, we built a relationship and she started to trust me. And she started to take the guidance and the steps so she could become self-sufficient. She now works for Showering Love and she's been with us for five years. And it's just amazing to see the light of hope come back in her eyes, as many others as well. So people do make it out of homelessness. The concept of mental health is very important. From our experience with working with the unhoused, at least 97% of unhoused guests are suffering from some kind of mental illness. Showing Love does our part with peer-to-peer -peer support. It could be one-on-one, -on -one, it could be a group activity, it can be working on their social skills, or it could be connecting them to a mental health care provider. On any given night in Broward County, over 2,000 people call the streets home. When I was unhoused, I was always trying to find a place for me, to lay my head, to leave my stuff, to try to find food, 
I was always in the fight of my life, fighting for space, fighting for acceptance, frightened, alone, and fighting for survival. There's such a lack of love while on the streets and in the world in general. But when we come from a place of love, give from a place of love, and receive from love, it is the circle of love means we're all connected. We're all the same, inside and out. Love has the power to heal even the most tragic wounds. The community support is so important to us. As we always say, the community is our heartbeat. By getting involved, whether it is coming and helping uh, create hygiene bags, sp supplies, coming out and volunteer a day with the bus, creating a fundraiser for us, sharing our social media, and by going to our website and making a monthly donation to help us stay sustainable. There are lives counting on us.